You know what, you guys? People are worried about the birds, and they're also worried about kids. There's a playground right over there. What if children had swallowed these pills? It was so bad, witnesses say some of the birds couldn't fly. We have pictures and video of them. A Canada goose passed out flat on its back, feet straight up in the air. This is my buddy right here. And Huntington Beach's Brian McDaniel rescued another intoxicated bird in his neighborhood a couple miles away. Bad symptoms, like something was wrong with it. Its head and neck were lolling all over the place. The eyes, one was open, the other one was closed. And then it, it, it started flapping its wings, and I thought it was dying. It turns out that someone dumped a few hundred pills on the banks of Carr Park Monday, which is filled with waterfowl. The wildlife gobbled them up. I don't know if it was, um, if it was kids, playing a prank or somebody just littered these pills and she said they were heart pills, anxiety pills, antidepressants and it just looked like confetti all over the ground and that the birds they think it's grain or whatever and they just started eating it. Experts say it's unclear exactly how many animals may have been injured or died and who is behind this. McDaniel tells me he got this information from Animal Control, who moved one of the sick geese from his home to the Wetlands and Wildlife Care Center earlier this week. Looking good. Hi. He came back this afternoon to check on his feathered friend. He calls Buddy. A few cages down, there's a ring billed seagull who also swallowed the pills. The ring billed gull that came in uh, was showing um, pretty serious symptoms of drug overdose. Uh, he had an astigmas of the eye, he had a neurological twitch of the head, and had complete loss of muscle control. The gull and the goose have recovered. This is my Christmas goose story. Yeah, but I'm not eating goose. I'm, <laughs> I'm happy that I rescued one. Yeah. Very, very happy he is. Now, police tell me that it looks as though these pills had been here a while. Many of them were crushed into the grass and the dirt. They say they did look around for pill bottles but didn't find any to determine exactly who these drugs belong to. That's the latest live at Car Park. I'm Michelle Geely. Back to you. Wow. I hope